our collection spans about 1680 to 1850. And in the early part of that, you can see much more reflection of what's going on in Europe, and particularly in England. By the end, it's quite distinctive, and there's no mistaking it, that American style is different. We became very, very interested in the history behind the pieces that we started to acquire and how they were used in the household. The utilitarian objects are fascinating because these simple things that people use in their everyday life and are very important to their lives we're also objects of beauty. One of the things that's important to realize is that we're interested in New England, but we're not as interested in what went on for the small percentage of people that were in the big cities, in, in Boston and Providence and Newport and the like. We're, we're interested in how the other 90% of people lived, mm -hmm. um, the, the people who were doing farming, um, the people who were just doing crafts uh, as a sidelight. Um, the, the people who were starting to get excited about the fact there was going to be an Erie Canal or we might get locomotives going through here or you know it was that time of the, the, the flowering of American uh, industry and ingenuity and I think that ingenuity issue is really important because a lot of the things that we collect reflect really uncommon ingenuity you wouldn't necessarily have expected from basically simple people living a, a, a country life. There's a whole history of art that speaks to Americanism, and this is part of it, and it's an important part of it. It's an important part of our history, our collective history in terms of art. And so we're so delighted to be able to share this art with people on the West Coast and all over the country who will be visiting the Huntington. So they can see this is how it, this is how it began in America, and look at where we've gone during this journey. I would like them to be inspired. I would like them to be inspired to look further, to dig deeper, to relate it to the wonderful information that the, the Huntington Library has and other libraries have, um, to understand how they can be creative in their own way and that every period has its opportunity. Um, so I want them to see this as an essential part of what we are as a nation and why it's important for everybody to appreciate that.